Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a very predictable video from me. Today we are duping the vibes of the Blood Money Collection by Jeffree Star. The video just dropped and I am going off of the swatches that Jeffree did on his hand, but I had to do a duping the vibes video because I love green eyeshadow as you know last year I did a full month of only green content last year maybe it was 2018 I'll link the playlist here with my full green eyeshadow collection which in the meantime has grown I have also filmed this makeup look and that will come up after this video. Remember to subscribe to my channel if you're not already, if you want to see um, this look and other duping the vibes video. But let's get into this topic. Now, Jeffree Star has been asked to do a green palette now for, I believe, years. Ever since the Gemini palette by Mel Cosmetics came out, everybody went berserk on green eyeshadow palettes and I feel like he's just too late. He did the purple, he did the gray, he did the nude. He's too late to the party, unfortunately, for a green palette. We already have a lot of green eyeshadow, we already love our green eyeshadows and um, yeah, it's just a little bit late, I feel like. Talking about green palettes, I have to show you and talk about indeed Gemini. Um, again, this one has a bit of a two different two changes that I mixed in from Smoke Sessions, but this has a ton of beautiful greens, and these are more of the olivey military type of greens. And then you have Smoke Sessions, which instead has. Um, all of the cooler toned greens as well as very dark ones. These two are from Gemini, uh, as I mentioned. Um, but these are great alternatives to this blood money collection that Jeffree Star is bringing out. I cannot recommend these palettes enough together and apart. Uh, if you're more of a cooler tone green, definitely smoke sessions, but this one only has two mattes, whereas Gemini only has two shimmers. So I find that these two together are the perfect pair of green eyeshadows, green eyeshadow palettes, I meant. And uh, that is definitely something to keep in mind. And if you're more of a pre-made palette person, I would recommend those. The quality is really good and it's not Jeffree Star. I think that's also a good enough uh, uh, reason. On the other hand, I had bought um, years ago the Androgyny palette by him and I also returned it because it was actually quite bad. Um, I didn't like the formula of his mattes back then. I don't know if it changed, but ever since I haven't really used it or bought any Jeffree Star eyeshadows. I just didn't like that formula and I didn't want to spend the money. They are quite expensive palettes, not per shadow, but because I think the palette is $52 for 15 eyeshadows. It's not a lot because it's a big palette, but $52 is still quite a lot to put out in one time. And uh, I don't want to risk the eyeshadow formula not being to my liking. Then we can go into singles. Um, you know that I have a ton of singles. I'm just going to pull up my two green single eyeshadow palettes, which have holes, but this is my more warm and, uh, let's say, wearable greens. And then I have my uh, teals and more forest greens in this one right here. And I already took out all of the shades that I picked to dupe the Blood Money palette. And here is the palette that we'll be talking about today. I will at the end <laughs> take out the the really the just the 15 that I think are the best um, dupes and then post this on uh, my Instagram with swatches and everything but today we're gonna go through options also for a few of the shades and uh, these are a range of Color Drain, Makeup Geek, Nabla, Lethal Cosmetics, Tami Tanuka Pigments and uh, um, Neve Cosmetics and Davina Cosmetics in here. These eyeshadows I love and I use a lot and they're just very good and I can vouch for them. So let's get started. As I said, the Blood Money palette has 15 eyeshadows in three rows of five. 
and the organization of it is a little bit I wouldn't say random but almost <laughs> This is uh, not really how I would organize them, but it's um, it's okay. I'm just gonna go with what he put on. So the first shade is a icy mint, uh, and my favorite shade for that is Neve Cosmetics Matcha. It's maybe a touch more warm, yellowy green than his, but I like this. I have it in my inner corner right now. It has a beautiful shine. It comes in a very big uh, round pan when you buy it, and I repanned it in a smaller pan, um, but this is a beautiful shade. My favorite eyeshadow from Neve Cosmetics, hands down. The second shade in the palette is a, I don't know, mid-toned teal. And I picked Dragonfly by Makeup Geek. This is part of their old um, selection, let's say, the round pans. And um, it's never been one of my favorite shades to use on my eyes because it's quite um, cool toned. It's difficult to, uh, you can't really get a really beautiful blend. It's more suited for, um, yeah, cut creases or like a pop of color on the eye. And then another option would be Envy by Divina Cosmetics. Envy is a little bit more muted and a little bit more green and less blue, but they're very, very close. I think Envy you can still get, whereas uh, Dragonfly not. But I do think Dragonfly is a closer dupe because it's brighter. Next up in the palette is a nice acidic matte green and I have two options here. One is Void by um, Lethal Cosmetics. This is a little bit cooler toned, I feel like, compared to the one, a cooler toned and more pastel compared to the one in the palette. And the other option I have in my collection is Inglot number 288. And I think this is just a touch darker. If you put it on a white base, it's probably going to be the same color as the one in the palette. And um, yeah, either of these would work. Um, I repressed my Inglot into a round pan, but um, yeah, these are the two mattes. Next up, the first shimmer of this palette, and it is a bright grass green shimmer. Now, I have something similar, which is um, Voodoo by Makeup Geek. It is a pigment that I pressed, and I think it's the closest to this shade, but Something that I prefer is Vertex by Lethal Cosmetics. This is a little bit more yellow toned than the other one, but it's a beautiful, beautiful shade. I prefer this one, but I think um, Voodoo by Makeup Geek is closer right here. Next up, there is a mid-toned forest green matte, and I have Level Up by Colored Rain, which doesn't really swatch very well with my finger. I'll try, I loaded a brush just in case. Um, but this is like a true green eyeshadow. I have also no primer on my hand. It doesn't swatch great, but you're gonna have to trust me on this one. And uh, I can show you it on in the pan right here. Right, this one right here. The other option I have is Inglot number 333 which is um, a little bit deeper maybe, but also a beautiful mid-toned mid uh, forest green matte shade. Both work really well on the eyes. Um, my level up, I don't know why it doesn't swatch very well, but these were always quite dry pigments and um, it's part of the Vivid Pigments palette that I depotted a while ago. And then the final shade looks like a very, a, a little bit of a cool toned dark forest green and I picked Squad by Colored Rain. Again, not the best swatchers these pigments, but it's a little bit of a cooler tone as you can see, um, green, almost teal I would say, but it really depends on what you pair with it. It, uh, it pulls one way or the other. And the other option I have, I'll put on this other side, which is Conjure Up by uh, Colourpop right here. And it's a little bit more neutral than Squad and closer to the Inglot one, but still a little bit more cool toned, as you can see. So this was the first row uh, of dupes. There's a few options, but I want to keep, keep the options because, uh, yeah, not everybody has everything. So I thought this would be a good, uh, a good option to have options, I'm sorry. Next row kicks off with two of my favorite shades, which is an olive green 
This one right here I picked is Olive You by Makeup Geek. It's a beautiful olive green. It's very similar to the one of my sweater and a shimmery olive green, which I picked Illuminati by, uh, or Illuminati by uh, Makeup Geek as well. And you can see it's quite a bright foiled eyeshadow. I think this is beautiful and very close to what he has in the palette right there. These are available, they're part of the new rebrand and they were sent to me for full disclosure. The third shadow in the second row is then a quite a yellow toned, maybe chartreuse type of shade and I have two options. One is from Glam Shop, this Polish web shop that I just made an order from and it's called Druid. It's a much more sparklier top coat type of a um, shade compared to uh, the next one which is Citron by Nabla. I'm trying to figure out if I am swatching in the right place. And Citron by Nabla is more green and uh, just a straight up normal shimmer. Both of them really good, both of them I don't know, I love when I use interchangeably um, a very nice look as just all matte lid and then Citron or uh, Druid in the inner corner. Beautiful. Then we move into more cool tone shade for this row and I have a uh, shimmer for you. This one is a Tami Tanuka pigment that I pressed and it is one who pulls into the abyss. It is like the most gorgeous greeny teal shimmer. It even like kind of shifty to, yes, even almost multi-chrome. Let me see if I can show it to you. It goes a little bit more petrol and, and deeper blue if you move away from it. Um, can you see it? I don't know. Anyways, beautiful shade. Next up is another Makeup Geek discontinued shade. I picked Sharkbait. Um, these are not shades that I usually use and I remember Sharkbait didn't really perform very well. Also, my shadow is five years old at least. So. Um, this is what it is, but it is a supposed to be a bit of a like bluish teal matte. An option that, however, I think is a little bit more blue is from their Makeup Geek rebranded eyeshadow, Blew Me Away. This guy right here. This guy doesn't swatch well. Neither of them swatch as well, but I use it on my eyes multiple times and it, it does perform well. So that is Blew Me Away. I'm sorry, these swatches are awful. But they are both, uh, let's say, um, yeah, just mid-tone teally blues. I never use these shades, so that's why I don't have a lot of options for it. And I really don't care for them also, so whatever, <laughs> I would say. Next up is another forest green dark matte. I don't understand. Between that one and the one in the robe above, I don't see a lot of difference in the swatches or in the palette. So I just picked another forest green that I love. This is Eden by um, Lethal Cosmetics and it's what I'm wearing in my outer corner right now. You can see these don't swatch fantastically but I can vouch for the quality of the, the eyeshadow. Um, it works really really well. It You can deepen it to quite some depth as you can see compared to what you see on, on my arm. So I picked Eden from Lethal Cosmetics for that. One of my favorite greens from them. Really really beautiful. Really really performing. The third row finally goes into more of the grungier greens which I love as well. Um, I think these are very good dupes that I found. Both Lethal Cosmetics. Uh, first one is Recluse. It's what I have in my crease today. It's a yeah mustardy mustardy green. Very pretty. Very nice to blend. And the next one is Habitat which is also a gorgeous olive green eyeshadow. I don't know what happened there in the middle of the swatch. <laughs> so these are two that I think are spot on with the um, palette and Lethal Cosmetics is a great indie brand from uh, uh, Germany, Berlin, and uh, they're gonna have a Black Friday sale, I believe they do every year. So I would write these down rather than buying the Jeffree Star one. Then we move on to the olive shimmer in the palette and I have two options for you. One is Color Drain Side of Olives and one is Jester by Makeup Geek from the Old Round Pans. They are as good as identical. 
and um, both really good options for this. Also in the um, Smoke Sessions palette, there is something that is very similar to this. Again, uh, here I'm going through my singles, but the, uh, the two melt palettes could be a great option instead of buying anything from Jeffree Star. Next up is a murky browny green shade, and I chose Syncope by Lethal Cosmetics for it. Again, very me shade, a dark, nice dark deepening shade, um, works very well. Um, on one of my eyes, on the other one not, but I still haven't figured out if it's me or the eyeshadow because it's one of the newer ones that, newer ones that I bought, but I have, I used it a lot and uh, it was also featured in my The Child Colourpop and The Child Mandalorian dupes that you might have seen on my Instagram. This is Syncope. The next up is a dark duochrome um, shimmer that he has in the palette. And he was going on about how you can really see the shimmer and it stays and it's not just a dark base that then the shimmer goes away. I picked a um, Tami Tanuka pigment called Soul Gatherer. It's what I have on my um, second half of the lid right now. This is a gorgeous shimmery green shifty shade. So it has a darker base with a very bright sparkle. I think it's quite similar and absolutely beautiful. I mean, look at it. Look at it. <sighs> all these uh, these pressed pigments give me all the heebie-jeebies <laughs> and I like them a lot. The final shade in the palette is the darkest in there. I picked Enchanted Forest by Makeup Geek because it's almost a blackened green and you need something that dark and I prefer a thousand times that they put to they put a blackened version of the color of the palette rather than an actual black so this one right here is going to be your deepening shade and this again is Enchanted Forest by Makeup Geek they I also have it from the old version but I'm happy they kept it in the new rebrand because it's a staple in my green eyeshadow looks very dark beautiful and here was the final row of the palette. What do you think? Do you think I did good? <laughs> it's uh, it's uh, difficult to go off of only one swatch picture. Then again, it's easier because you don't have to go, oh, what, which one is the better one? So um, yeah, I swatched for you all of these eyeshadows. You'll have all the names in the description box down below in order of uh, rows so that you can see and take a look and decide which ones are you are interested in. So I, for example, would skip all of these mid-tone teal bluey shades because I really don't care and I never wear them. But all of the, yeah, uh, forest, the neutral greens and the warm greens, definitely something up my alley that I would love. I have to say this collection really grabbed me. Like I was really into it. Um, when I saw the the video and that bothered me a little bit in the sense that I know I'm not gonna buy from him so that's why I, I had to come today to play with my collection. Um, the next uh, thing that we're gonna talk about is green lipsticks. I don't have a lot, um, liquid lipsticks specifically. What I am wearing today is Black Moon Cosmetics Hazel. This was part of a fall bundle. Um, I put a clear gloss on top of my pixie because it's quite dry um, and my lips are very very dry due to the um, pregnancy and just winter but it's a beautiful green lipstick and it's the greenest one I have. Then I have two that are a little bit more uh, on the mustardy side. One uh, is from Mulak Cosmetics. This is called Young and Brave. It was part of a um, collection that they did a f last year or a few years ago and it's a little bit more brown. So I find this the most wearable of these eye of these eyeshadows, of these lipsticks and I actually really like it. It's a little bit tingly but it goes away really quickly and I love this formula. The other one I have is also from Black Moon Cosmetic and this was part of the same collection but I don't remember the cider I think it's called. I think it's called cider and um, this is a mustard shade, which also he has in his uh, in his new vault of liquid lipsticks. 
and um, I love that vault full of green lipsticks and uh, you can use them as eyeliner or as eyeshadow bases but I have things that I can use for lipsticks and honestly I don't really leave the house with lipsticks like this you get too many weird looks um, then I have a forest green option almost teal this is Sephora lip stain cream lip stain they're called this is number 29 also an oldie but a goodie and this one here is like a straight up teal -y forest green lip if you want something crazy I know Anastasia has a very similar one Anastasia Beverly Hills and um, yeah here I have some options for green lipsticks that you can choose I to be honest the one I wear the most and actually wore outside of the house in my life not recently because who leaves the house recently is Young and Brave by Mulak Cosmetics but the rest is just fun colors um, I find cider is a little bit too light on me so I have to I do line it with a brown liner then it's also very nice to wear outside of the house less green more mustard so these were the lipsticks that I can recommend instead of the ones of Jeffree Star I have to say the Jeffree Star Cosmetics um, liquid lipstick formula I like. I have one that I bought from Beauty Bay a while ago on sale and I have to say I really like that formula so that's a little bit uh, um, let's say not problematic but I do like the formula so if you if you don't mind ordering from him I think that is a good one to go to. Then uh, there's a new product launched with this collection which is eyeliners and there's quite a few nice colors I think there's five of them I'm gonna show you just a few green ones that I like and that I would recommend um, one is from Colourpop this is the cream gel liner in electric daisy I am not sure this is still available to be honest but can I yes uh, it's uh, yeah neon green uh, eyeliner I like it I use it for more neon looks I think it's I've used it also on on uh, Instagram but the two that I really want to uh, recommend and that I use a lot are from Neve Cosmetics I also used one today in this look that I'm wearing and they are the shade night which is more of an olive green um, shade more brown toned if you want to and it's the one that I use the most it's the shortest one of the two beautiful these are very creamy in the waterline they might not last you the longest but they are yeah very creamy and work well both as bases on the top lash line to smudge underneath the lower lash line to smudge and um, the other one is dagger which is a little bit more green and a little bit more cool toned um, so here you see them next to each other these ones were gifted to me by my friend Stefania who didn't wear them and I can't thank her enough every single day for these because I use them a ton a ton if you cannot get your hands on Neve Cosmetics which is an Italian brand that ships in Europe um, you can take a look at the NYX faux blacks line they have the olive one that I can't find so I don't know where mine is but they have an olive one that I also really like but um, a really really nice they have they're just these faux blacks they're called so I would take a look at those great green eyeliners I can definitely recommend I love them all and use them a lot I'm not gonna get into the glosses or try to dupe the highlighters because it's I don't know it's not products that I'm interested in and when I saw the video with the proper the behind the scenes of the photo shoot it looked so the highlighters looked so glittery and the glosses yeah they're not that interesting they're like glittery uh, greeny shifty glosses check out Colourpop for colorful glosses that don't cost a lot um, for highlighter I want to um, I don't know give a shout out to what I'm wearing right now this is Cosma by Davina Cosmetics and, uh, and yeah I can demo it on my skin and I also wanted to swatch it for you and it's a beautiful green shifting highlighter green and gold shifting highlighter and I think it's actually very wearable in a look like this put a neutral lip on or a dark brown lip on and uh, I would be out the door am I gonna leave the house today I'm not sure but if I would 
uh, I would definitely just change my lipstick and get out of the door. So that was a very long-winded blood money collection duping the vibes video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what your thoughts are on the collection, regardless of what your thoughts are on Joffrey. I think the collection is actually gorgeous, but I am not gonna buy from it. So that's why I needed this session to show me that I already have everything I need and all of the beautiful green palettes that I need if I need something pre-made or the green single eyeshadows or the green lipsticks or the green liners. I don't need anything anymore. I'm good enough and um, yeah, I hope this helps you guys. Go and shop your stash find your green eyeshadows, put them all together, make a palette, use it for a while and yeah, convince yourself you don't need it. <laughs> Hopefully that will work out. Again, thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!